Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my 100 day project. Today is day 38. And um, for the next couple sessions or weeks, I don't know, I'm going to be painting fruit and vegetable patterns with gouache. Um, yeah, thank you so much for joining. Um, this whole project has been very eye opening for me. And I just released a video about um, how this project has helped me you know, um, actually discover new creative adventures. And I never, not never, but I feel like I wouldn't have easily stumbled upon those things if I didn't push myself and challenge myself with this project. So if you're in a similar kind of boat where, you know, you're feeling kind of stuck or you're feeling like, you know, like it, it just feels like the same thing, repetitive, and um, especially creatively, you know, you're just feeling stuck, I really highly suggest doing some kind of, um, you know, challenge like this, where you paint for a certain amount of time, maybe 100 days is too much, you know, maybe it's just 14 days, maybe it's 30 days, you know, but whatever it is, I think that kind of motivation helps you kind of, you know, step out of your comfort zone. And, um, and it helps you, you um, like unlock I don't know just just new levels like it's like Super Mario and we just watched that movie a couple weeks ago it's like Super Mario where you like you know hit that little button and then you eat that mushroom or that flower and it unlocks like new powers it's almost like that like doing something um, where where it feels ordinary but you you know kind of challenge yourself a little bit can help you unlock new levels so anyway if you're here and you are um, you know, painting along with me and doing your own challenge. Like, I, I just want to say I'm really proud of you. I want to see what you're working on. So please leave a comment or find me on Instagram um, or TikTok um, at Audrey Ra Design, and you can find all my socials up here. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear what you're doing and even see what you're doing so, so that we can cheer each other on. <laughs> Um, with that said, let's begin with our breathing exercise and then we'll get into painting. Welcome, welcome. Thank you again. Thank you again so much for joining. Today, I think I'm going to paint figs. Yeah. <laughs> and fun fact, I did paint figs way back in my original 100 day project six years ago. And I chose figs for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's because some of the leftover gouache paint in my palette, I might as well use them up. So I have like a bunch of a uh, bunch of purple, but I think I'm gonna have to mix like a little bit of black or brown into it so that I can make it a little bit darker. So we'll see. Um, otherwise, I have like a really deep purple color in my in one of my sets. Um, all right. So hello. Let me just move some of these things out of the way. Hi, hi, Linda. Hi, I love it when you guys join. 
And I love that, you know, we are starting to like kind of get to know each other. I hope the vet visit this morning was okay for Juniper. Juniper is her cat, if you didn't know. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be using any of the colors in this palette, but I just wanna put it out just in case. All right, today is day 38. Wow, wow, wow. I really can't believe, yeah, that it's this far. And I don't know, I, I was chatting with a friend earlier today and he was like, oh yeah, what, yeah, what day are you on? And I'm like, yeah, I think like, yeah, day 30, 30 something. And I was like, at this rate, it's gonna take me like a full year to get to day 100. And then I was like, why did I choose 100 days? <laughs> why didn't I choose 50 or 30? So ah, that's okay, that's okay, letting it go. I also realized that after yesterday, I'm going to use a smaller brush, I think, I mean, I mean, I love the avocados from yesterday, don't get me wrong, but I almost wish that I painted them a little smaller just so I can fit more avocados, you know? So I'm gonna try a smaller brush today. And one of the things that I wanted to work on for this one was to um, simplify my subject even more. So you can see in my avocado one, because I tried to use gouache like watercolor, can you guys see, like I have those yellow patches here, here, and like, well, this one's not as bad, but even like up here, you know? So I tried to layer, but I didn't let my, let the green layer dry. So that was my first mistake. And then my second mistake was that I watered down the gouache too much. And so you get these, you know, splotchy areas. So, you know, you live, you learn, and we try again. So that's what today is for. All right. Oh, okay, Linda. So the new eye drops for her cataracts in the left eye is helping. Oh, that's good. Hi, Rena. I know I'm almost done with the 30s. Today is day 38. Where does the time go? All right. So I do have a new playlist. I know, Linda, your favorite song might not be there anymore. Um, but I hope you like this new music. Um, if you don't know, I use epidemic sound for my music and it's um uh you do pay a subscription but then you can use all of the music royalty free and um what i love about it is that you can search by like the the mood so i searched modern classical because i love classical music i grew up playing classical music or classical piano and so I miss it. And so, but then I like the modern twist to it where it's like a little bit dreamy, a little bit romantic. And so um, that's going to be the playlist for today. So let me go ahead and turn it on and let's start creating. I'll see you in a bit.
<laughs> Hi, Keith. Thanks for joining. Oh, I'm glad you like the music. Oh, thank you, Linda. Yeah, I thought the purple was a little bit too purple, but you know, I was like, roll with it. It's okay. <laughs> At least now you definitely know it's a fig, right? <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I, I, I think they're pretty cute looking too. I kind of like these. They're pretty cute. And I really tried to simplify it as much as I could, like seriously. Um, I really resisted adding additional dimension to the whole figs. I really wanted to, trust me, because with watercolor, I would easily add some shadow in one of these corners, you know? Um, but I was like, nope, don't do it. And then even for this red center, I wanted to add some more details to that too. And I really had to resist. So it's a good practice for me to, um, yeah, just simplify and just have fun with the process. So yeah, ah, I really like it though. So like when I look at this one versus the avocado, again, I love both, don't get me wrong, you know, but I think making the switch to the smaller brush, you know, really helped me um, fit a lot more figs in here. And then, um, yeah, I really like the contrast with the green and the purple. Um, and then the bright red center, I love that. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. I know the fig leaves are so cute. Like they're just like, like they're kind of shaped like um, like wavy maple leaves, if that makes sense. You know, cause maple leaves have this kind of leaf structure, but then the edges are wavy instead of pointy. So I kind of liked putting that together, yeah. Um, yeah, they do kind of look like taro too, because I know taro is also purple. But um, hopefully now you can tell that they're definitely figs. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you. All right, so yeah, I'm just kind of nearing the end. Um, as we always end our sessions, let's wash out our brush and then uh, blot them and inhale and exhale as we do that. So here we go. Today I use the round brushes size one and three. And exhale. All right. And then let's take a moment to affirm what we've created. And um, yeah, just always be proud of yourself and remind yourself to be proud too. So let's take a moment. Oh, Rena. Oh, I'm so glad that you like the music. The music was so dreamy. You got lost in what you were painting. That is awesome. That's what I love to hear. Yeah, I love that modern classical kind of music. So, right. Okay, well, thank you again so much for joining. Um, you guys are the best. Thank you, thank you. Um, to this week, I'm going to be live again tomorrow and then Friday. And if you didn't catch it on the community post, I wrote down a couple other options for fruits and vegetables. So please go ahead, uh, go to the community tab and vote for your favorite fruit um, among the list. Or you can write a comment and then write your own favorite because it's probably not on the list, you know. So yeah, um, give me, you know, give me something challenging. Give me like, I don't know, last year I did papayas and I was like, what? Or two years ago I did papayas and I didn't think I could paint them, but I did. <laughs> so yeah, give me something that I've maybe never heard of or um, yeah, but chances are last or two years ago when I did the fruits and vegetable wreaths, I may have done it. Like I even did... Um, Oh gosh, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's, it starts with an R and then it's got, it's like, it's like a red 
Um, it's red on the outside, but it has like these spiky, spiky tendr tendrils. I don't know what to call them. Um, I can't even like think of the word now, but I just know it starts with an R. But I even painted that, you know. I think I painted lychee and um, um, yeah, I did paint papayas and mushrooms. So yeah, give me something to paint and um, maybe you'll see it on my live stream. So thanks again for joining me. Here is this one. La. <laughs> Um, I hope you have a wonderful evening and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.